top of the morning it is monday january 9th man um i'm grateful to be here i hope you are too if you're going through a tough time pray about it you know keep good people around you eat good drink good work out exercise even if you just take a walk you know you get on the treadmill do some push-ups sit-ups cardio and um uh, everything will be all right you know but um yeah so we vlogging again today like i said man well, I didn't tell y'all, but I did tell y'all. I just didn't upload the video. I got some, uh, I got a lot of videos I'm working on, man. Some pranks, challenges, man. I'm trying to have fun 2023. But yeah, man, y'all stay blessed and I'll see y'all in the next clip. So I had, uh, did some juicing last night when I got in. And I have, I tried, I tried one of them a little bit, but we finna see how these things taste. The recipe, I ain't gonna even lie, I don't remember the recipe. It's in my phone, but let's just see how these taste. Okay, so it ain't mine. I made this for uh, my best friend, right? So look, this right here is, you got one sliced apple, uh, beet chunks, so I cut up some beet, uh, two peeled oranges, one whole lemon, uh, some pineapple, and one inch ginger so let's see how this one tastes and this is supposed to be for weight loss clearly i don't need to lose no weight let's see not too bad not too bad I'm on fire, actually. And this is just cucumber, I believe, and um, pineapple. I think this is just cucumber and pineapple. I think. I forgot. No, I think it's celery. Celery, cucumber, pineapple. Well, let's see how this one tastes, though. Yeah, that's okay. That's celery, for sure. Just straight celery, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> Fuck. Disgusting. All right. Don't ever, ever drink just straight celery juice. I'm telling you. If you ain't got a strong stomach, do not do that to yourself. Do not. But it did give me a dope idea for a video. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. My mine. My mine. It's mine. <laughs> no, but you gotta look, you gotta hold it so you can. I'll be hiking when you be acting like that. I don't be liking that. I ain't raise you like that. I didn't raise you like that. So look, I don't know if y'all know this, you know, but um, you know, I'm starting to get, <laughs> I'm starting to, you feel me? <laughs> but look, this is what I've been using. I ran out of these, right? So I need to get more of these. These fire though, these gummy, these hams and biotin builder and gummies, fire. Right, and then this, I think this is the trick right here. This right here. Twice a day. I'm supposed to put this on, like, I put it all right here. Sometimes I put it right here, but I don't, I don't have an issue growing hair right here. It's, it's the size, man. It's the size that I be bald on. So I use this. Well, I, I, ain't, gonna be, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't been that consistent. No, but you on my foot. I ain't been that consistent with this, but I'm supposed to use it twice a day. Or whatever. Why and, uh, huh? So it look like this, right? Then you basically take one milliliter like that. Then you like apply it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do it now for y'all. Do you apply it like this? It's cool though, like for females, like, you know, who ain't got no edges. 
I think it'll work for y'all too. Like sometimes I don't normally put it around. I don't need it right here. I need it really over here on the sides. You feel me? But yeah, do this. All gone. Then I rub it in. But hold on. Wait, matter of fact. There's one more one more product. Hold on. And wait, man, I rub that in like that, you know. Yeah, that's that. But when I shower, I use this. You know, I use this when I shower to wash my facial hair. And that's it, man. So I've been doing this for like I wanna say oh not long, probably like three months. So we gonna see the progress. Alright, so look man, um if this for if you live in California uh, I don't know. I don't know how serious it is. Like, I'm one of them people. I'm very, like, um, I don't want to say I lack emotion. Hold on. Like, I don't want to say I lack emotion, but it take a lot to, like, put fear in me. I ain't gonna lie. When COVID hit, when COVID hit, I was terrified. No cap. But look, I was terrified. Hell, when COVID hit, I was terrified. But Northern, this is in Northern California. So tens of thousands of people across Northern California are dealing with continued power outages. So I'm in Southern California. So hopefully, you know, the storm miss us. I don't know. But it's a Northern California storm like Biden approves emergency declaration. School districts close. Flooding on I-80. So it's bad to the point where they're closing down the school districts. Like, very, very, like the district. Not just the whole district in Northern California shut down. They doing evacuations. Yeah, man, that, that, that's wild, man. Prayers to y'all in, in Northern California. I don't know if it's supposed to be headed this way. I don't know. Hopefully not. But we got to start preparing, man, for certain things. Like, I guess, you know, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? That's how I feel. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? But let's talk about what's happening in Mexico real quick. Okay? Because it's some, it's some, it's some, some shit happening in Mexico, man. Kids getting kidnapped and killed and all type of stuff. So... Yeah, Mexico is some shit, yeah. All because of they done uh, captured El Chapo's son or something. Okay, let's see. We'll go to Mexico. There's like a war out there right now, actually. So the cartel, the, Me the cartel out in Mexico, is, they tripping. They setting cars on fire. They killing kids, kidnapping kids, all type of crazy stuff. So I made a Facebook post, man. If y'all don't follow me on Facebook, go ahead. Lotto P. Lucini. Um, just like telling people, don't go to Mexico right now. Right now is not a good time to go to Mexico. You know, um, especially with what's going on with El Chapo's son. You know, the cartel basically is retaliating against the government, from my understanding. It's not safe, man. It's not safe at all. It is not safe. So let's see. Let's let's try to get an update on that though. Mexico cartel news. Cartel war 2023. Then Biden, he done went to Mexico. Okay, look. Damn, it's a fentanyl killed 70,000 people in the U.S. 70,000 people died from fentanyl. And that's a, let, let's, talk about, let's talk about that real quick, fentanyl. Um, I don't do no drugs. I don't smoke. I don't drink. Um, I'm a pescatarian. I don't eat you know, pork, beef, none of that. Not to say I never will again. You know, because I've been wanting some carne asada tacos so bad, bro. But, so I don't do um, a lot of the things I used to do, right? One reason why I, I never did pills. I never fucked around with, like, anything other than marijuana, you know. And even the marijuana is scary for me because I have low tolerance and I have addictive behavior, okay? So, it's not in my best interest to consume any substances 
okay? I'll be walking around this motherfucker like a crackhead, okay? Like, I know me. I know my body, you know? I have addictive behavior. So, with the weed, man, I tell people, like, all the time, man, just stop buying weed from any and everybody. Your best bet is to learn to grow your own marijuana so you know what's in it, man. People are adding all type of chemicals and they lacing the shit with fentanyl. You know, and I don't know if this is true, but somebody told me if the fentanyl, if, if your weed smells like popcorn, there's a high possibility it's laced with fentanyl. But fentanyl is so strong. I know y'all have seen a couple of these videos where like police did traffic stops and like they were um, searching people's bags and some people have fentanyl, but like invisible particles or dust of the fentanyl kind of like, you know, you know, it got, it got a whiff of their nose. And these motherfuckers overdose. The police officer overdosed twice. Twice. The police officer overdosed twice on just like small particles of fentanyl getting into their, their system. So that's tell you how strong that drug is. You know, and I guess they have some Narcan, which they shoot them with, and it stops the opioid from, um, it stops the effect of the opioid and it brings a lot of people back to life or it saves, saves their lives when you get shot, you know, with, uh, with Narcan. You know, so luckily for that police officer, you know, their life was saved by their partner. But this is a strong, dangerous drug. And I advise people, if you can find an alternative to your escape, because that's how I feel. Drugs are just people's ways to escape. Now, you have some people who smoke marijuana good for true medical reasons and then for like um, arthritis, you know, anxiety, um, certain things like that. So but for the people that do it recreational, just like out of habit and because, be careful. If you're going to do it, be careful. Try to grow your own weed or stick to one, you know, weed shop or something like that. Don't just be shopping around buying all type. You know, don't just be careful. Be cautious. And if not, grow your own weed. But yeah, fentanyl, man, that, that's like, that's scary. Bro. That's scary. That's scary. I think it's like 30 times more potent and strong than heroin. And if you know how heroin was, it fucked a lot of people up. But see, let me tell y'all something else, though. I'm trying to find this information on this Mexican cartel war, but a lot of this information is hidden. A lot of this information is not just surface level. Like, you got to kind of, like, go to the dark web or search Twitter certain terms to find this stuff. So, like, the real the real news that's really, really happening out there, because they're going to tell y'all what they want to tell y'all to scare y'all or to put y'all in, in, in panic and, and create just this frenzy. Why? Because I'm telling y'all, people get rich and wealthy when tragedy happens. When it's tragic, like war and like the pandemic with the COVID, so many people got rich and wealthy. They call it a wealth transfer when these type of things happen. Okay. Learn about it. It's important. So, uh, like I said, I'm trying to find this information, but when I get more, I'll probably make another video. I want to start covering things like this, though I don't really be in tune with this type of stuff, but I think I probably need to because it's a whole new year, and we don't know what the hell these people got planned for us, for real. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. We don't know what these people got planned for us, so, you know, better to be prepared, I guess, man. But I'll be chilling, man. I don't be... My bad, y'all. My memory card got full, so I'm going to have to clear this memory card. Car I'm gonna have to clear this memory card so I can uh, record. So I can record more videos for y'all.